Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Pets on Parade, which is brought to you by 3TV. I'm Ashley Goble from the Arizona Humane Society. And I'm Megan Franks. Thank you so much for joining us today. When you adopt a pet and add one to your family, we, uh, you get a friend for life. And we have the Valley's most adorable pets right here on the show today, including Phoenix. Cattle dog who's looking for another spot to call home, and we'll tell you about this week's emergency rescue about a kitty who was found stuck in a glue trap. Look at those paws, it's quite the tale to tell. Plus, a special treat for you our friends from AZ Sugar Glider are here. They're going to introduce us to a few of their tiny pod friends who are looking for a new home today. But first, meet our kitty co-host. I'm holding Mona Lisa here, who is just a picturesque 14-week-old tuxedo kitty who will play with any toy who, that grabs her attention. She is just so loving and sweet, and she will make a perfect pet for any family. And I'm holding the litter mate here. This is Leo Softpaw. He's a gentle boy. He just likes to, the ear scratches and the chin rubs, and his purr is just louder than a car engine. You can make him part of your family, and before you know it, he'll be running the household with his velvet paw. Well, most of us have had a roommate at some point in our life, and it can be hard to find someone who is compatible with your living habits, but Lisa Buttercup here is a stellar roommate and is looking for a new pad to call home. Well, Buttercup is a seven-month-old male, and he promises, he tells me his uh, profile as far as roommates go, never leaves dishes in the sink, he doesn't hog the remote, he won't complain that you change the channels too much, and he's somewhat of a clean freak. So I can't imagine a better roommate profile than that. But seriously, Buttercup is very gentle, adorable markings on him, and he's got this little motor purring, purring, purring. I wish you could hear it. He's almost shaking the table. <laughs> he's such a sweet boy. And those orange tabbies, you can't go wrong with them. They're smart, they're cuddly very well rounded and buttercup certainly fits that profile for sure well the morgan family recently adopted a boxer mix named ollie and they wrote us saying it's only been a few months but this guy has made our home he's the sweetest dog ever not to mention he's quite the clown he loves camping and fishing and playing with his sister hallie and we just love having him as a member of our family love those success stories there <laughs> that picture is just too cute well, if you're looking for someone to keep your bed warm at night and be your loyal friend, then meet Dodger, the cuddling extraordinaire. Perry, this doggy may look intimidating, but he won't hurt a fly and is an absolute gentle giant. <laughs> you know, May, uh, Megan, this guy is only a one-year-old puppy, but he's extremely, really well-behaved. He has 54 pounds of sweetness and very, very well-behaved. He takes treats ever so nicely from you, as you can see here. He's Aww. very, very gentle. <laughs> He's a beautiful dog. He's the fawn-colored American Pit Bull Terrier that we don't see too often. He's a big, strong guy, and he's going to need a big backyard to play in. I think he's going to be a wonderful family doggy. He's just really, really great. He's just a sweet guy, and come on down and give this guy a chance. This is Baby Boo. He looks a little intimidating, he that does. Boo there, but he really is, like Perry said, such a gentle boy. Give those American Pit Bull Terriers a chance. Don't judge them just by their breed because they make stellar pets, too. All right, well, National Mutt Day was earlier this week, but we're celebrating on the show today with Grams, a nine-week-old blonde, Pappy Karen on the border. Now, Ski, this is a little border collie, or sorry, excuse me, border terrier, Karen Terrier, a smidge of Papillon in there, and Grams has all the best qualities of these breeds. He certainly does, and if you're looking to mix it up a little bit, this may be the perfect little dog for you. Nine weeks old, four pounds. He is ready to go into that forever home. You know, they say that mixed breed dogs generally tend to be a little bit healthier and generally do not get the genetic diseases that are passed down to purebreds. So they can overall cost you a little, le little less in vet, vet care every year um, throughout their lifetime as well. They are super smart and they certainly can mix it up a lot at home, learning different tricks, just like any other purebred. This guy is definitely going to make your life a lot of fun. He's been, he just wants to play and pounce. So let's make Graham a part of your life today and get him in his forever home. Love those ears. They look like he's just going to take off and fly away there. Thanks, Ski. Well, Lady Amain Coon was reunited with her owner, Austin, who had been deployed to serve in the Army in the Arizona Humane Society's Project Active Duty Program, provides foster care for pets with military owners. And Lady spent almost two years in a loving foster home with AHS. Austin was so thankful to have his kitty back just in time for the holidays. 
Now it's time for our breed of the week, and today we are featuring the Italian Greyhound. Perry, the Italian Greyhound is very similar to the Greyhound, but much smaller and more slender in all proportions. Hey, Megan, and you know, with the name Italian Greyhound, you would say, well, this dog must have come from Italy. Well, not so fast. We're not quite so sure about that. There's really a lot of debate as to where the origins of this dog is. There's some evidence that this is a really ancient breed, as they've seen mummified uh, skeletons of these dogs in Egyptian pyramids and pictures of them in Pompeii-type drawings, so they may be a very, very ancient breed. What we do know about them is, though, is they were extremely popular dogs in Italy during the Renaissance period, and that's where their name came from. They were the dogs of royalty. They were bred as companion dogs. Kings and queens owned these dogs, but they also had a function and that they're great lure coursing dogs. They are extremely fast. They can reach speeds of up to 25 miles an hour. So they are really, really fast. Great little doggy here, Dobby, 11 years young. You can look at, look at how sweet this doggy is. Uh, long, long legs, very nimble body. And um, you have to be a little careful with this breed. They are a little delicate. They're very sensitive emotionally. And they're also just very, very delicate. They've got very, very thin legs. And you have to just be a little careful. What a sweet dog. This doggy came in with a wonderful profile, friendly with everybody. This is the affectionately sometimes called the IGs, the Iggy's. Dobby, the Italian Greyhound. And you know, him being 11 years old, he's already house trained, leash trained. He knows a few <laughs> tricks socialized, just looking for that place to spend his golden years. Well, emergency animal medical technicians rescued a stray calico kitty who found herself helplessly stuck to a glue trap while being attacked by dogs. Her paws were full of the sticky adhesive and she was stuck in the grass, unable to free herself. So EAMTs brought the wounded kitty to our Second Chance Animal Hospital. They cleaned her up and did a great job. And after a quick shave and a mineral bath and wound treatment, she's doing great now. So we're very excited about that. Now this is Gatsby, and he doesn't need luxurious home in the town of West Egg on the prosperous Long Island. All he wants, Lisa, is a cozy bed to curl up in and take long cat naps. He is a gentle soul. This stately fellow found himself believe it or not, in a box on the side of the road. Some, some good Samaritan luckily stopped, looked in that box, and in there they found Gatsby. Poor boy, it was freezing that night, but we rushed him into the hospital, and he was checked out just fine, just a little nervous and unsure why such a gentleman such as this would find himself in that situation. We'll never know, but what I do know is this beautiful Lynx Point, he's only a year old, um, very gentle, uh, got both an independent and a cuddly side. He likes to sleep right next to you. If you want to sit down on the couch, he'll come up and roll up right next to you. And he loves the chin scratches, but he's a big kitty. You know, he's a big eight-pound kitty, very long legs, quite aristocratic when you see him. So come down and meet Gatsby. You certainly won't be disappointed in this handsome fellow. He is just too cute laying right there. <laughs> and stay with us to meet Benedict and hear how you can help pets just like him when we come back.